Matt, have you been able to work last Saturday out the system on the training ground this week? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously it's really disappointing weekend for everyone. Uh, I think everyone felt really positive and good going into the game, but it just shows that it doesn't always work out like that. It was uh, it's frustrating. Um, it's frustrating for everyone, you know, um, especially myself, obviously. At 1 0, having a chance to, to score the equaliser and then maybe push on and win the game. It, it was it was a real hard couple of days for me, just just because I was disappointed. Really, I wanted to get my season off to um, off to a start, get uh, the first goal and stuff like that. So, no, really disappointing. Everyone was uh, quite angry after the game, and uh, coaching staff and, and the players uh, not happy at all. So, uh, yeah, we've we've trained uh, we've trained hard and and tried to get out of our system. And I think I think everyone's kind of well you have to kind of leave the, the weekend behind to a certain extent obviously realise that it weren't good enough and that we, we need to do better but um, also look forward to the to the next game and, and look to put some things right Does missing a penalty play on your mind as a striker? I mean you've taken lots of penalties haven't you? Yeah You don't miss it, too many No uh, it, it didn't play on my mind in the game because I just wanted to get back on and try, and try and score and put it right but obviously after the game and the Sunday you don't have a good Sunday you know as my misses will vouch for, but um, no, it was it was tough, you know. It, it's never nice when you miss a penalty. You hope you kind of miss one when it's you're two nil up uh, or something like that. But it was a crucial point in the game, and uh, and yeah, I was gutted about it. But what can you do? You just got to get on with it and um, and and move on to the next one and not not let it affect you. Um, so that's what I've been like. So how do you move on? You you, you, you have back to back wins at home. Now you've had back to back defeats on the road. It's, it's important. You just it's sort of fits and starts isn't it? Yeah, well, I, think, I think everyone can see I think we've got to get better I think we've got to start start playing better um, we we haven't I think it's clear we haven't really hit top top form all season to be honest so um, we've, we've done it in fits and starts and the games we won were York was a game where we, we it was a bit nervous just because we hadn't won a game yet and then Northampton was just a real grind tough game we probably uh, didn't Play great, but it, it wasn't a game. It was a game where you had to dig in and grind and, and win the game. Obviously, since then we're, we've had a couple of disappointing performances um, that we, we know we have to put right. So um, we we go to the mem and, and just look to put a, a good performance in uh, in front of our home crowd. Hopefully, they get behind us because um, obviously we need we need everyone kind of going in the same direction and uh, and we can put th- some things right. You're one of a number of players coming back after injury. How long does it take? Do you, do you reckon in terms of getting your match sharpness back? Um, it's, it's very hard to say. I've never really been in this position of being out this long and, and stuff. And I know I've done pre-season, but it was, a, it was a bit broken up. But it's very hard for me to, to say a, 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 a time scale. Uh, it's strange because I came on on at Northampton and didn't, didn't feel good for kind of physically. I felt a bit rusty and stuff, but. The weekend and dagging them up physically, I felt a lot better. But you know, you miss a penalty and you lose two 0 That's kind of what's remembered about it. But physically, I felt good, so I'm training hard and um, I'm working hard, and, and and hopefully it will just it will just come. I think you know, you just once a, once a goal goes in and, and stuff like that, things will uh, things will just click into gear a lot, and and hopefully that's as a team. I think everyone's looking for a, a settled partnership up front, and you you've played with. Different people. It hasn't been that that so far yet. I mean, you played with um, Ryan briefly, yeah. Elliot briefly, and, yeah. and Dave Clarkson. I mean, yeah. is, is that difficult for for you to get? Something, um, you know, something not difficult. I'm sure. I, think, I don't know. I think it's it's another hard question to answer, really, because I just don't think as a team we've quite clicked how uh, how we'd like to. Um, but I mean, any good team has four or five strikers to call upon, so. Um, I'm sure the gaffer would like everyone fit, so he could kind of everyone fit and, and firing, uh, so he could make a decision and have three people on the bench. At the moment, he hasn't been able to do that uh, through injuries and stuff like that. But um, no, you've just got to make things happen yourself. You know, we're working hard in training together in partnerships and stuff. So um, I'm sure it'll come. It just just might take a bit of time. Just looking to Saturday Hartlepool, they won their first game last week, so it's almost a, a battle down at the bottom already in this early in the season. Isn't it? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really <laughs> looked at looked at the table. I think you, you shouldn't get too bogged down with the table. Uh, you should just concentrate on how you've been playing and, and the last result, which obviously wasn't a good enough performance and it wasn't a good result. So um, I don't, I'm not 
looking at the table and not getting drawn into all that kind of bottom of the league stuff already. Um, just looking to the next game and focused on that. Everyone confident going into the game? Uh, well, I suppose confident isn't confidence isn't going to be sky high, seeing as we've lost the last two games. But uh, I think there's a determination amongst the lads just to put things right. A new face in the in the side last week. How how has he settled in with, with oh, the Bondi? Group? Yeah, no, Bondi's uh, Bondi settled in well. He's obviously he obviously knew, knows um, the manager and JJ, so he settled in uh, he settled in fine. Yeah. Yeah, just one from me, Matt. I know <clears throat> from coming down here, we, we all know how well the players get on as a group and stuff. Yeah. But uh, sometimes, is it good to sort of have it out with each other and be frank when you when you've lost the game? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, I've I've played a, a long time, and, and these things happen, and, and they happened after the game um, on the weekend at Dagenham. Just just nothing spectacular. Just you know, words are said, but I mean, it's I've, I've, I think it's happened after games we've won before as well. So it is. Uh, I think you make certain demands of each other, and if someone you feel isn't um, quite on it as uh, as much as they should be, then things are said. I think that's only that's the right thing to have in a dressing room, and, and we have got it.